So, Monsieur the President, please be seated. Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The President, the, the court is now in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. We are going to hear the Nous testimony of Dr. Craig Etchison. Before we start the proceedings, Avant the greffiers are invited to verify the attendance of the parties to the proceedings today. The greffier. Le greffier. Mr. President, Monsieur the parties to the proceedings today are all present. The expert is also here in the courtroom. Yesterday, Hier. we moved up to The stage in which uh, the Nous party, uh, the civil party lawyers, uh, would uh, put questions to the witness. The Khmer lawyers have already put uh, the questions, and we noted that uh, the international co-lawyer of the civil party attempted to put questions to Mr. Craig Etchison. So it is now the opportunity for the civil party lawyer group one, Mr. Alain Wagner, to put his questions to the witness, uh, the expert, if he would wish to do so. Maître Werner, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Mr. Chetson. Um, let me just tell you before I start that um, on behalf of my team that we are very grateful for your patience and we are very grateful that um, you accepted to come and not only on behalf of the attorneys present of my team but my whole team is working very hard I wanted to tell you that. Um, let me start with um, some questions on, um, on torture. Um, the accused last week on Monday 18 of May, and I'm going to read the um, exact quote from the transcript, seemed to suggest, answering a question from a Judge Lavergne, that the notion of smashing included more than just killing. And let me read what he said, and it's transcript in English, 18 of May 2009, it was last Monday, page 14, and he said that, he said, now I would like to add further on top of what I told you already, when it comes to smash, which means I arrest secretly, and then people who were arrested be interrogated with torture, employed, and then they were executed secretly without the knowledge of their family members. So my question to you is this. Would you agree that the term smash as used uh, by in the decay period, didn't mean only killing, but more than that, que, or do you think uh, that meant only killing? Plus que tuer, hein? Ou est-ce que écraser signifiait tout simplement tuer? Thank you, Council. Monsieur Kogetchison, je vous remercie, Maître. I am certainly no Khmer language linguist, but my understanding Cependant, is that the Khmer word ce que je crois que we translate in this court as smash, comtech, com means a little bit more than just killing. Frequently, you will see this tuer. word translated encore et encore not merely as smash, mot traduit non seulement, but rather non seulement, as smash, smash to bits. Mais souvent, 
on emploiera, on trouvera l'expression Khmer, smash, smash to bits, c'est-à-dire écraser hein, en mille morceaux. It seems that this process Il semble que was ce processus a lengthy one était un processus qui durait dans le temps execution with a blow to the back of the skull or whatever method was used to murder. It involved not merely a physical smashing but also a psychological smashing and the regime of prisoner treatment inside S21 was ideally suited to this sort of dehumanization and debasement of the individual psyche. So I would say, in short, yes, smash means something more than merely kill. Thank you. So you you may Maître have Mère, answered my um, vous avez my second question, but just to, déjà à ma question, for me to, de to fait, be completely clear, mais pour me um, de, we are trying to understand if there was. Si. Um, you talked about at length um, policy bien. and documents on smashing, and we are trying to understand if there was such an express policy on torture, hence my first um, question. Now, in your research, did you come across any detailed order or directive issued by the Standing Committee on Torture, or do you consider that because they used the word smashing, then it was de facto covering torture? Écrasement, ce terme recouvrait la torture. Do, is, is my question clear? Est-ce que vous avez bien compris ma question? Yes, counsel. Monsieur Your Kukashi question is clear. Oui, maître. Votre question est claire. I have never seen Je an order jamais trouvé or a directive from the standing committee directive explicitly ordering torture ordonnant explicitement la torture. But nonetheless, Néanmoins, it is clear from various party publications clair à la lecture de and various pronouncements de by the top leadership du, des dirigeants les plus that they wished great ill on anyone defined as an enemy que toute personne définie comme ennemi euh, faisait, euh, à, ferait l'objet, euh, serait assujetti au pire traitement. Now, to carry on on, on this question, Maître Werner, the pour poursuivre accused sur ce sujet, in front of the um, investigating judge on the 2nd of October 2007, page 6, in English the reference is D slash 20, said that there were four types of torture used, and he said, at least in the English version, they were authorized. So, I believe you answered this question, but just for me to be completely clear, did you ever come across any document or anything which could lead you to believe that indeed these means of torture were authorized? And if so, by whom? Thank you, counsel. Mr. Hutchison, I thank you. I have not seen any documents originating from the senior leadership at the standing committee level which authorized particular forms of torture. However, there are numerous 
documents Il existe de nombreux documents that we refer to as cadre notebooks en tant que carnet which we believe to have been written by staff members of S21 and which appear to record the substance of training sessions within S21 sont des notes de la substance du contenu and which discuss S21. various torture techniques et ces carnets contiennent and based on your research, do, do you have any view on who devised this torture technique? That's an interesting question, Councilor. And it's one that we have puzzled over at some length. Pendant euh, de longues périodes, it appears, il semble, to me, il me semble, that most of the torture techniques, la plupart des techniques de torture, were developed ont été through practice, développées au fil de la pratique, or through learning ou, from the Vietnamese Communist Revolution, euh, par l'apprentissage des techniques vietnamiennes, among Security officials et, um, ces techniques, and senior Khmer Rouge political officials suite été, uh, in a uh, sort of oral uh, tradition. Entre les, uh, mains ont été, uh, at the same time, par les et les if we are to believe the testimony of various si former staff members at S21, and the few surviving prisoners from S21, quite a broad array of torture techniques were employed there, some of which seem as if they may be products of the inventiveness of the staff themselves. Du personnel, uh, de S21 and just to be clear, which, which staff are you talking about? Uh, Maître Werner, vous parlez de quel membre du personnel? Juste pour préciser. I refer, in this instance, to the interrogators at S21. Je aux de S21. And according to you, who, Maître if anyone, Werner, vous, taught qui, these interrogators? Uh, this technique, if ah, anyone. Uh, si une personne l'a fait, uh, qui a enseigné cette technique de torture? I believe that Doik was the principal trainer in torture techniques at S21. En technique de torture à S21. And just to be clear, on, on what do you base your belief? Sur quoi basez-vous votre conviction? I base this belief. Monsieur Chesson on statements by the accused person, sur les déclarations de accusé, on statements sur des from former S21 staff members, membres du personnel de S21, and from surviving documents et sur les documents that were recovered at S21. Et qui ont été retrouvés à S21. Thank you. Bernard, now, merci. it was not clear to me, talking um, talking about torture, de la torture. if there is um, any use of torture in the zone, zone sector district throughout Cambodia. Now, uh, paragraph 64 of your report, you said this, sector level security personnel also had the authority uh, to, to torture prisoners. Now, what you just said to um, le les cut ma matters short, what you just said about S21, does it apply as well to the security centers outside Phnom Penh? It is clear to me, Council, that torture was widely practiced at security offices all around Democratic Cambodia. 
although most places appear to use a much smaller range of techniques. Les autres unités utilisaient une gamme de techniques de torture moins large. So, and th that was exactly my, um, my next Maître question. Dernière, um, based on your research, suivante, do you think there was a difference between the torture as practiced torture in security centers throughout Cambodia and what happened at S21 or not? ce qui se passait à S21 ou pas. That's a difficult question, Monsieur Council. Hutchison, il question In terms of the pain en and terror de la inflicted on de the la victims of torture, torture, there may not have been a great deal of difference between the torture practiced at S21 pratique de torture S21 and the torture practice et la torture security offices. À, dans d'autres bureaux de sécurité. However, in the range of techniques, en termes de gamme, it seems to me that there was a difference. Il y avait une différence. Are you, are you able to Maître elaborate Maître. a little bit on, on that point? Est-ce ce point un petit peu? Yes, counsel. Monsieur Hutchison, oui. Maître. At zone level security offices Au des and de at sécurité, security offices de la, des zones, situated des in lower de echelons, dans les echelons the range of torture techniques, la gamme techniques de torture by and large, although not universally, mais pas seemed to be restricted pas partout, to beatings, à à tabac, whippings, des coups de fouet, Suffocation with plastic bags avec des sacs en plastique, and electrocution. electrocution. In contrast, en S21 cela, appears to have used S21 a wide variety of additional une vaste gamme torture techniques, techniques de torture such as que burning des brûlures piercing of fingernails and toenails les ongles des euh, mains Ripping et des orteils les fingernails arracher and toenails les ongles des mains et des pieds flaying skin and then pouring salt or salty uh, water verser on de l'eau salée hein, sur les blessures hein, de l'eau salée, with poisonous insects, tourmenter les euh, prisonniers avec, en utilisant des insectes of water tortures, euh, dont les morsures étaient empoisonnées, ou les piqûres étaient empoisonnées, tying hands behind the back, les mains derrière le dos, and then puis lifting the victim la victime by the hands par les so as to cause euh, mains dislocated de manière à shoulders les épaules, and a wide variety et of other torments. Vaste gamme de, uh, Thank you. Werner, je That answers my, my questions on, uh, on, on torture. I have for you some questions on confessions and I do bear in mind the ruling which was made and I'm not going to ask you any questions about the content of some confessions but I'm interested in trying to understand more I do apologize uh, for interrupting Mr. President um, um, Mr. Werner referred to a ruling that the court had made on this evidence um, to the understanding of the co-prosecutors there has not yet been a ruling on this and I just wanted to confirm that understanding with, with the President and the other judges.
Mr. President. In response to the observation made by the International Co-Prosecutor, the Chamber would like to remind that the Chamber ruled on the request made by the co-prosecutors last week as the following. The Chamber would like to remind all the parties the Article 15 on torture states that the state party shall ensure that any statement which is established to have been made as a result of torture shall not be invoked as evidence in any proceedings. Except against a person accused of torture as evidence that the statement was made. So this is to remind all parties regarding the use of documents pour ce qui est as a result of torture that is in sous la torture. comparison to the Article 15 of the Torture Conven Convention. De la Convention contre la torture. Also, in other provisions of the Cambodian laws, the which we are signatory of this torture convention, the disposition of the Cambodian que le Cambodge est a ratifié la Convention contre la torture. And yesterday, there was also a discussion on this issue amongst all the judges of the trial chamber regarding the questioning which needs to be observed. However, due to other various issues related to the second case, the Chamber has not yet made a formal decision. So this is just an information from for all parties. And as a result of our discussion yesterday and early this morning in respect to the implement to the torture convention concerning la convention sur la torture. I would like to give the floor to Judge Scott Je voudrais donner la parole à to inform the parties of our observations, which is not yet a formal decision. The floor is yours, Judge Cartwright. Thank you, Mr. President. Judge Cartwright. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, as the President has said, uh, the Chamber has uh, considered this matter uh, and wishes now to uh, give a clarification of the uh, uh, indication given a few days ago. The Chamber want, wishes to emphasize the importance of the fact that this court is bound by the provisions of Article 15 of the Torture Convention, which the President has just read out. This provision is reflected in Article 38 of the Cambodian Constitution and also in Rule 21.3 of the Internal Rules, which states no form of inducement physical coercion or threats thereof, whether directed against the interviewee or others, may be used in any interview. If such inducements, coercion or threats are used, the statements recorded shall not be admissible as evidence before the chambers. In practice, this means 
en pratique, cela veut dire that the fact that a confession has been made and that it was made under torture obtenu sous la torture is an admissible fact. Font que les faits qui However, sont consignés ne sont pas the contents recevables. of a confession Cependant, made under torture cannot be accepted et les faits qui sont contenus dans les as a truthful statement. If any party wishes to refer to the truthfulness or otherwise of the contents of a confession, it will be necessary first to establish if the confession was made under torture or the threat of torture. Le fait que les aveux étaient obtenus sous la torture, la menace reason, de la torture. Et pour cette parties raison, should consider whether an examination of the contents of a confession si is sufficiently important to seek an inquiry concerning the circumstances under which the confession was made. Uh, and I just reiterate what the President Je has indicated. This uh, is made to assist the parties and as a clarification uh, of the earlier uh, uh, iteration of, the, of Article 15 of the Torture Convention. Thank you, Mr. President. The President, uh, the floor is your, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President, Monsieur and Monsieur thank you, Your Honour, for those clarifications. Bette, merci uh, pour we ces have précisions. one further observation, Nous avons encore une observation que just so that we faire. understand clearly the import of what has just been said by Your Honours. Although there has been no ruling Il n'y a pas eu de décision à ce jour sur le principe général. If I understand um, the comments correctly, it will be only when si and if a party seeks to rely si on the content of confessions. Mais bien compris, ce n'est que lorsque une partie souhaite faire référence au uh, contenu d'aveu should be ventilated in full. Que cette question doit être if, if that abordée. is my understanding, then the co-prosecutors will say no more about it. Si but cette interprétation que je fais correcte, nous ne dirons pas plus au côté que procureur, chamber, mais nous aimerions dire à ce stade que c'est une investigating judges in case case file two. qui est actuellement à l'examen de la d'instruction dans le contexte du dossier issue. numéro 2. C'est une question and extrêmement délicate et extrêmement be, complexe. Um, discussions of the general principle in si this chamber, il y a discussion the co-prosecutor request les co that similarly full submissions could be made in writing, les given the sensitivity leurs of these issues. If that is um, appropriate and meets with the approval of the court, si cela vous that is what the co-prosecutors would propose on the understanding that there has been no general ruling at present. The President, uh, Judge Katra, you Judge take Katra, the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, it President. was for precisely that reason, namely, that this matter is currently before the co-investigating judges uh, uh, in uh, relation to case two, uh, that no ruling has been given. Que nous pas rendu de but it is apparent uh, that we are reaching a stage in this trial where it is necessary for a clarification to be given for the benefit of the parties so that on a case-by-case -case basis, uh, should the need arise, uh, the, the uh, parties can consider 
how important it is to refer to the contents of a confession uh, because it seems to the trial chamber that that will require on a case-by-case -case basis an examination of the circumstances under which that confession has been made. The trial chamber notes your submission that full submissions on the general topic may be needed at a later stage and certainly reserves that right to the parties. I hope that um, uh, assists. Yes, it does greatly. Thank you, Your Honor. I hope that this helps you. The co-procureur, yes, thank you, Madam Judge. The President, uh, Mr. Alan Wagner, you can uh, proceed with your questions to the expert. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I do apologize then for the sloppiness of my, uh, my language. Mr. Chisson, the same way I think you very um, usefully helped us this, this chamber um, about torture. I'm trying to understand the, the same thing about um, confessions. In other words, if there were an expressed policy on confession, and if so, what was the, the extent of that policy? Just to help you about a few things which are to give you some content, context about a few things which were said before you started testifying last Monday, on the 18th, 18th of May 2009, the, the agreed fact were read out and the accused was given an opportunity to comment on this agreed fact. And he said this on the agreed fact at paragraph 99. And for my learned friend, the draft transcript of last Monday, 18 of May in English, page 49 and 50, I'm going to read um, in full what he said. So the, the agreed fact was, was as follows. Dutch was often given instructions concerning the extraction and content of specific confessions, including references to CIA and KGB agents. And then, paragraph 44 of the closing order, the accused agreed, but he said it should be noted that the co-prosecutors have summarized paragraph 44 of the closing order. And the paragraph 44 of the closing order say that Dutch stated that in many cases he was given instructions concerning the extraction and content of specific confessions. In particular, he asserted that at the instigation of his superiors, the words CIA and KGB were initially used by the interrogators themselves. So here is my question. As far as you know, based on your research, would you say that there were, there were written policy or rules about how to extract confession, or do you think that there were only oral instructions from superiors to, to the accused? Is my, is my question clear? Yes, counsel. That's clear. I would have to say that there were both oral instructions regarding the extraction of confessions and written instructions as well. Most of the written instructions of which we are aware were internal to S21 rather than consisting of specific directives from 
higher authorities. Qui serait venu des autorités supérieures. It also is apparent that the practice of torture Il apparaît aussi que la pratique de la torture à S21 and indeed from earlier at M13 et avant cela à M13 evolved over time a évolué in avec conjunction le temps with the methodology of extracting particular la méthodologie employée pour obtenir les aveux And, and when you said that there was written instruction internal as, at S21, do I understand correctly that it was the accused um, deciding or, or deciding on this internal um, instruction? Do I understand that correctly? Yes, counsel. That's correct. And what about the oral instruction then? What do you know about the oral instruction on, on how to extract confessions? Instruction verbal sur la manière de tenir des aveux. The accused person has spoken at some length in his interviews with the co-investigating judges interrogatoires par les co -juges of having received specific oral instructions verbal précise regarding qu'il a reçu both methods concernant of extracting confessions la méthode d'obtention des aveux content et la teneur of the desired confessions des aveux à obtenir there is also evidence on the case file il y a aussi des éléments au dossier of the accused person in turn transmitting oral instructions uh, qui, uh, to his own interrogation staff que l'accusé donnait des instructions verbales à son tour à ses propres subordonnés again, concernant encore une fois both the form of conducting la manière de mener les interrogatoires and the content of the desired inter uh, interrogation des aveux recherchés Thank you. Now, the same way I did for, for torture, I'm trying to understand if these confessions were unique um, at S21, or did that exist as well in the, at local level? So here's my question. As far as you know, were detailed confessions obtained as well at the zone sector and district levels, the same way they were at S21 or not? Yes, counsel. Confessions were obtained at security offices situated at other echelons à than echelons the center, que le centre, that is, at zone, à savoir, sector, au niveau des zones, des sectors, and district echelons. Et des districts. In some instances, of which we are aware, Nous avons connaissance de certains cas, these confessions extracted at lower echelon security offices à des de sécurité, were fairly elaborate, detailed, and lengthy. Et long. We have few surviving written Nous records of this activity, écrits a small number from here and there. Otherwise, we rely largely on Sinon, testimony of nous le savons surtout par perpetrators, de bystanders, and a few survivors de témoins for our understanding of operations qui nous permettent ainsi de comprendre ce qui se passait au niveau des zones secteurs et districts. Les bureaux de sécurité afférents ces zones. Based on the totality of this evidence, Sur la base de l'ensemble de me ces éléments de preuve, il m'apparaît clairement que les interrogatoires menés à S21 étaient cependant beaucoup plus poussés 
et rigoureux any other security que ce qui se faisait dans d'autres bureaux de sécurité dont j'ai connaissance. Can you elaborate a little bit on why it was more elaborate? Vous développer ce point. En quoi est-ce que les méthodes employées à S21 étaient euh, plus poussées? Yes, counsel. Réponse euh, oui. One reason. Confessions were more elaborate at S21. Une raison du fait que les aveux étaient plus circonstanciés à S21 est liée à la nature du personnel et des interrogateurs. Many of these personnel Beaucoup de ces interrogateurs étaient des vétérans who had served the revolutionary cause de la cause révolutionnaire pendant des décennies. Ils étaient à son service depuis plusieurs décennies. A high rank Ils occupaient un rang élevé dans l'organisation révolutionnaire. Who were personally acquainted with Ils avaient many other individuals de nombreux autres of significant rank personnes in the revolutionary organization des positions importantes dans les or who had personally recruited many individuals de nombreuses personnes into the revolution pour servir la révolution. and thus, naturally, Et donc, naturellement, ces personnes Such qui étaient des, des détenus, non pas des interrogateurs comme les interprètes, donc ces prisonniers, avaient connaissance, une connaissance approfondie du sujet dont ils pouvaient parler dans leurs aveux. And which might be of interest to those Et ces who sujets were pouvaient intéresser ceux qui be demandaient que soient obtenus les aveux. Consequently, Par conséquent, il y a quelques confessions in the S21 archive, on dispose de certains aveux which were extracted over a period of many months au fil de nombreux mois and are very long, et qui sont très long. some in excess of 1,000 pages. Certains dépassent les mille pages. There is nothing comparable of on which I am de aware pour autant que je sache, at any other security office. Pour d'autres uh, centres de sécurité. Thank you for, for this answer. Maître Werner, Are you aware cette réponse? of um, any annotations? Est-ce que vous avez connaissance? Mon confrère, excusez-moi. Maître Roux, uh, please. Nous avons eu dans uh, la version française un uh, problème version, de traduction. Translation problem uh, in the French version. Où, uh, il semblait que vous parliez uh, quand vous avez dit une des raisons were, est liée à la that nature that des personnes the et on vous a traduit et des interrogateurs. Alors que semble-t-il, vous aviez dit, ça vous a été corrigé ensuite, à la nature des prisonniers. Est-ce que c'est bien de ça dont vous, parlez, dont vous avez parlé Prisonniers. Et vous avez développé sur les prisonniers qui euh, étaient des vétérans de la cause révolutionnaire. Vous parliez bien des prisonniers à ce moment-là Juste une explication, pardon. C'est ça Donc il faut corriger so dans la version française, uh, version il s'agissait bien des prisonniers qui étaient des vétérans de la cause révolutionnaire qui occupaient un rang élevé de la cause révolutionnaire. C'est bien ça, M. Uh, l'expert. Uh, so, Merci. Merci, mon confrère. Thank you. I'm, I'm grateful for um, this remark because I'm, I'm listening in English. Je vous re, je Although suis quite a few people told me that I should ask my question in French. Et donc, uh, but um, voilà. so I cannot help for the, for the French translation. So I'm grateful. Français, non, en tout cas, je, je n'écoutais pas la traduction. Je vous remercie d'avoir um, prolongé la version française. Just to come back, so my question was, based on your research, are you aware of any annotation the same way it was done at S21? And I'm going to come back on that topic to ask you a few questions about that, but to just finish with the local level. Are you aware of any annotation on the confessions at local level? Euh, porté sur les, les aveux tels que c'était le cas à S21 dans d'autres centres de sécurité yes, counsel, S21. I am. Monsieur Hutchison, oui, effectivement. Et qu'est-ce qu que vous pouvez dire de ces annotations counsel. I can say that Maître, ce que je peux dire, que they exist. They exist. 
that the, this practice occurred at lower echelon security offices au centre de sécurité d'échelon inférieur and that the annotations were not as elaborate et que les annotations n'étaient pas aussi poussées ou circonstanciées as those we are familiar with que nous in the context of the S21 documents des documents de S21 however cependant I'm afraid I cannot say much more about that because the documents in question are currently the subject of a judicial investigation. I understand that. Now, to talk about um, the confessions at S21, um, you said yesterday and the day before, and unfortunately we do not have any transcripts, so I cannot quote from a transcript, but I hope that I will uh, faithfully um, quote you, and if not, please um, tell me. Yesterday and the day before, talking about what happened at S21, you spoke about the accused studying confessions, and then you spoke several times about list of proposed enemies, and you said as well, you use the word looking for enemies. And I was a bit confused. When, when you spoke about list of proposed enemies, did you, did you talk about the annotation on the confessions, or is it for you something else? It is multiple things. Il s'agit de Council. quelque chose à facette multiple, maître. In the process of extracting confessions, Dans le victims processus at S21 de were routinely des required ont to produce lists of names of persons de who had supposedly conspired with them de qui in the alleged treasonous behavior. Disant, um, so this is ou, one type uh, qui était of list of names, dans la liste, one produced en tant que traître, by the person being interrogated un aspect de ce qui était produit par la personne interrogée dans les archives de S21. We also find Nous pouvons également trouver des listes de traitors, traîtres proposés qui semblent avoir été créés par les interrogateurs or other S21 ou par d'autres membres, membres du personnel de S21 a process par le biais d'un processus d'analyse des de la teneur des aveux qui avaient été produits par so la victime. Et il s'agit ici d'un autre type de liste staff, produit par le victim. personnel plutôt que par les victimes. Now, what is your understanding Maître Werner, on if anyone who ordered this list of enemies qui written by, by people who were being interrogated and list of traitors list written by the staff members, if I followed you correctly. Do you know anything about who, if anyone, ordered such lists to be, to be written? I don't I can't immediately recall ever having seen an order pour ce qui per est d'avoir jamais vu l'ordonnance en tant que telle à savoir ordonnance enjoignant d'écrire de telle liste je ne peux pas me rappeler avoir vu ou trouvé d'ordonnance spécifiquement sur ce point et sous la forme écrite ce que je comprends est qu'il s'agissait 
ici d'une pratique développée, affinée par l'accusé lui-même. Et que l'accusé supérieur de l'accusé trouvait que cette pratique était tellement utile que c'est une raison pour laquelle l'accusé a été promu au poste de directeur de S21. Et juste pour être clair, vous avez dit que vous avez compris que sa pratique de cette liste était devisée par l'accusé. Qu'est-ce que c'est votre en train de basis dire qu'il s'agissait d'une pratique promue par l'accusé. Mais euh, vous basez votre propos sur euh, quoi exactement This assertion Monsieur Hutchison, is an analytical conclusion cette affirmation of mine est une conclusion based on analytique all that I know moi-même, à laquelle je suis moi-même arrivé, sur la base de ma connaissance de ces processus au sein du Parti communiste du Cambodgia. Thank you. Je vous remercie. Now, just to finish, last question on this list. Une dernière question. Just to give us an understanding on these two categories of lists. As far as you know, how many lists are we talking about? À votre connaissance, are we talking about 100,000 for each category? As far as you know. Dans quelle catégorie et de quelle catégorie? On parle d'une dizaine de listes, d'une centaine de listes, de milliers de listes. À votre connaissance, par la quantité. Monsieur Hutchison, je ne sais pas personnellement comptabiliser. Cependant, je pense, j'estime des milliers de listes. Pour chaque catégorie, dit Maître Werner, oui, confirme le témoin. Je vous remercie, dit Werner. J'ai une question à poser s'agissant des annotations. Si je vous comprends bien, il s'agit de quelque chose de différent. Est-ce que je suis bien euh, de, des listes. Ai-je raison yes, counsel. That's correct. Monsieur Hutchison, oui, Now, euh, maître. C'est exact. First, let me ask you this. Maître Werner, At the tout d'abord, permettez-moi de vous demander was chairman of ST21. À l'époque, Nat you know était directeur de la Nat portait confession des annotations sur les aveux de la même manière que le faisait l'accusé lorsqu'il a les aveux une fois qu'il est devenu directeur de S21. Monsieur Chesson, je ne peux pas recall. Having ever seen an annotation on a confession that was specifically attributed to Nat, it may be that there are some, but I do not believe there are a great number of such annotations. Now, about the annotations, de ce type par I'm just trying to understand how this annotation, system of annotations, started. Are you aware of euh, any order, either written or oral order, to start annotating this confession? Uh, no, counsel. I am not. Monsieur Hutchison, non, maître. And based on Je n'ai pas connaissance, then, maître Werner, research, sur la base de vos connaissances et how de vos recherches, comment ce système d'annotation a why commencé did it start? et pourquoi My surmise on that question, Ma supposition sur counsel, cette question, maître, est que of the accused person's personal work methods. By profession, the accused person was a school teacher. And thus, he was accustomed to marking up the papers of his pupils. My surmise is ce que je suppose qu'il a 
over into pour his new profession et transposer cette pratique dans sa nouvelle as profession an en tant qu'interrogateur. And you alluded to to Maître that Bernard, before when I was asking you about the annotations at the local level. Shortly, can you say anything uh, about local, what you think the, the general bon, way uh, the accused annotated these confessions? Uh, what could you say about, uh, in general terms, about these annotations? Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez dire de ces annotations, Monsieur Chesson? There were a variety. Of different types Il existait of une variété de types d'annotations. Some annotations, certaines annotations, appear to have a function similar to a routing slip, la même fonction qu'une feuille de routage, to whom a, a confession has been distributed, on y trouve les informations sur le when. destinataire, des aveux et du moment. Some annotations Certaines appear to function as a memory aid by the accused person. For example, one that might say exemple, already read or not finished ou alors pas or something ou alors of that nature. Quelque chose de la même sorte. Other annotations, d'autres annotations, would be instructions to interrogators à l'attention des interrogateurs. Of various types, ces instructions étaient de différents types. Might be instruction that the accused person had decided a particular interrogation was complete. Un interrogatoire particulier était terminé. Or it might ou alors instruct the interrogator. To seek a particular type of information, de rechercher un, chercher à obtenir un certain type d'information, ou alors on y enjoignait, on y instruisait l'interrogateur de d'appliquer un type de torture. D'autres types d'annotations sont plus de par leur nature analytiques. C'est-à-dire que de nombreux aveux contiennent a type of report comporte, summarizing the confession un type de rapport, and analyzing the confession. Les aveux et analysant les aveux. Other types of annotations discuss broader aspects des aspects of an investigation d'une enquête by S21 qui était en cours et menée par S21 et comprenait des questions qui dépassaient le champ de la teneur d'un aveu spécifique. Still other annotations appear to be encore d'autres annotations made by être des notes supérieures such par as des Sun supérieurs, des supérieurs comme or Sun Sen ou Nunchea. Thus, Ainsi, it is difficult to generalize about est annotations difficile because there are many different kinds. Car il en existe de Thank you for your answer. Types. I have some questions now about the, the, the intervention on this um, confession by not by people who who wrote the confession themselves, the detainees, but by, by other people. Now, the, the accused person said in front of the instructing judge on the 29 of November 2007, page 15, in the English version, document is D slash 30, that Sun Sen spoke on the phone every day with him about the confession, and then he had, and I quote, successive corrections to make. Now, bearing in mind what you said yesterday about the fact that you believe that Sun Sen was a very busy man, based on your research and understanding, um, do you think it's correct to say that Sun Sen 
intervened and had successive corrections to make on the confessions, on the content of the confessions. Council, I believe that this assertion by the accused person is entirely plausible in the case of the interrogation of particularly senior members of the Communist Party of Cambodia. For many of the ordinary soldiers and other cadre who became victims of S21, that seems much less plausible. Now, now in court last last week Werner, again just before you, you took chambre, the stand dernière, on monday the, the 20, 20 uh, sorry the 18 of may 2009 and that can, can be found in the transcript the draft transcript in english page 52 54 the accused said himself that people were intervening on the confession, basically changing the confession with a pen, changing the confession. And, and I'm going to quote exactly what he said. He said this. Some other people were implicated, but the standing committee did not take action. For example, Tamok, his name was mentioned in the confession, but he was not arrested. Having heard of Tamok, the standing committee Donc, reminded Idol and did not take any action. <coughs> and brother Koy's name of Sun Sen, his name was also implicated in several Sun confessions, Sen, but the standing committee did not take actions. So this is just examples. I still remember how the confessions were sharpened. So I would like to give you an example of how the confessions were framed because when they wanted to arrest anyone, then they would like confession to be aimed into that direction. So, first of all, let me ask you this. Do you agree with, with that statement by the accused that basically people were, I guess, changing the content of the confession? Do you agree with, with that statement based on your research? Modifié sur yes, la base counsel. de cette affirmation, I Monsieur Hitchison, oui, Maître, je pense que, au-delà de la déposition de l'accusé, euh, je pense que c'est une chose qui know, est survenue dans um, certains in the examples cas. We are talking about. Et Maître Werner poursuit euh, qui euh, pouvait modifier le contenu de ces aveux euh, par rapport à remove, ce counsel, dont il est question. Monsieur Hutchison, maître, il est difficile de prouver cela de manière probante. Mais il semble que les, dirigeants, Sen, les hauts dirigeants Nguyen du Chair, régime, à savoir Sun Sen, Nguyen et éventuellement Pol Pot, même Pol Pot, et pu être responsable de telles interventions. And as far as you know, did the accused Maître himself Vener sharpen or frame any confessions que in, in your knowledge? A orienté ou a um, déformé certains des aveux uh, à votre connaissance? Est-ce que cela a été le cas? No, counsel. I, I cannot Jason, think of an example non, of that. Uh, Maître, je ne peux pas. Uh, aucun exemple de ce type d'intervention ne me vient à l'idée. Now, the accused, in front of the instructing judge, on the 21st of January 2008, page 7 in the English version, the document is at D-38, talked about a stenotyped letter from Sun Sen telling interrogator at S21 to be careful not to accept confessions which accused too many people. Now, I'm, are you aware of such a letter? Yes, counsel. 
to let and I don't want to ask you any Jesse questions Louis about the content, but I just want to know, poursuit, as far as you know, was that the only instruction that you are aware of about instruction from type, someone vous avez une at the upper echelon to the staff at S21 on what to do or not to do with the confessions? Are you aware of other instances of intervention? Ne fallait pas faire par rapport à ces aveux ou avez-vous connaissance d'autres uh, documents de ce type? Monsieur Hutchison. Yes, counsel. I'm aware of other instances of interventions. Oui, uh, maître, j'ai connaissance d'autres cas d'intervention. Maître Vernas, est-ce que vous pouvez étayer ce point On at least one Monsieur Chesson, au moins à une reprise, Son Sen, Son Sen a personally visited S21 rendu à S21 to conduct training pour mener of the des staff. séances de formation du personnel. Although we do not have mener la prodiguer une formation personnelle, reprend l'interprète, bien que nous n'avons pas de notes ni de uh, procès verbal attestant de cette formation, il est facile d'imaginer well que de tels sujets session. aient pu être abordés dans le cadre de ces formations. Now, you, you said here in court, Maître I believe on Tuesday, that chambre, once the accused studied the confession, proposed purges, and then sent the proposal at upper echelon. When you said that he, he proposed purges, were you talking about this list that you mentioned you, you mentioned before, or is it still something else? That's correct, Monsieur Chesson. The list of people vrai, who had been identified as enemies. Now, when you said that he sent Lorsque this list at upper echelon until mardi, September, September 1977, is it correct to say that Sun Sen was involved in this upper echelon when the lists were sent? Would that be correct? faisait partie de ces échelons supérieurs euh, où cette lettre a été transmise Yes, it would be correct to say that Son Sen was involved. Oui, c'est vrai. Euh, And then, vrai just for us to understand, Sun Sen once Sun Sen impliqué dans ces left Phnom Penh, what can you say, if anything, about his involvement um, with the de sa with this list or, or whatever was sent from S21? coming from the confession, um, do you know if um, Sunsen was still involved in dans le cadre any decision-making uh, process dans after le cadre he left, if you know? Et de ce processus après son départ, si um, vous pouvez, As the uh, si vous connaissez les éléments de réponse, Monsieur Chesson, comme l'ont constaté les co-procureurs hier, s'agissant de l'ensemble des notes from division 502 de la 502, du secrétaire de, la, de 502e division, à savoir soumettre euh, des lettres envoyées à l'accusé, certaines de ces notes to have gone semblent through son -sen être passé entre les mains de Sun Sen, même après la mi-août 1977. Donc so yes, oui, il semble que Sun Sen involved, to some extent, at least, a continué à participer or in certain cases, dans une certaine mesure à ce after processus he departed donc, for the battlefield. et même après son départ au combat. Thank you for that. Now, in front of the instructing judge, on the 28th of February 2008, page 8, in the English version that can be found at D slash 52, the accused said that in case of large arrests within the same unit, following a decision of the standing committee, he, the accused, asked her to talk with the person in charge of that unit in order, in order to calm, calm, sorry, my French accent, to calm down the men of that unit. Are you aware 
some Are you aware of um, any such any document Have with such instructions? Have you any knowledge of documents, of documentaries, containing such instructions? No, counsel. Monsieur I am Chisson, not. No. So I take it to, to mean that you cannot say if there was more than one, one instruction like this. You, you do not know about the existence of such, such an instruction. Am I correct? You are correct, counsel. So I move on. I have one question, and then I will have finished with the topic of the confession. You were very, I think, clear and explicit in explaining the extent of the purge, and in particular in the revolution, Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea. And to quote you last Tuesday, and I have the transcript, you said there were widespread purges throughout the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, and then you said the same day at least 359 people were purged from the general staff itself, and then on your chart, and I'm happy to own, I have them with me if you want me to, uh, to show them to you, but I think you, you know them on the chart book, page 5, 45.7% of S21 prisoners were members of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, and in your report, page 27, two vice chairs of the Revolutionary, Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea were, were purged, five secretaries of division were purged. Um, so I think you are very clear and you went into great details to explain the, um, the widespread way in which the revolution in which they were purchased in the revolutionary army of Kampuchea. My question is this, do you see any causal link between the fact that Sansen was at the same time um, the chairman of the general staff and the boss for over two years of the accused and involved, as you mentioned in this confession. Do you think there was any causal effort? Do you understand my question? No, I'm afraid I do not. Mr. Chisson, malheureusement, no. You, you said that there were widespread purges in the revolution, Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea. Do you think that the fact that Sun Sen was at the same time chairman of the general staff and the, the boss of the accused for over a year, do you think that may have caused the fact that there were such widespread purges or not? Thank you, Council. I believe I understand your question. And the answer would be no. I believe the causes for the widespread purges in the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea were not directly related to the fact that Sun Sen was both chief of the general staff and the direct supervisor of the accused person. And just in a nutshell, if you can, why not? Question, and in two words, if you can, why not? Why not? Without delving Réponse. into the content of any particular confession, Sans entrer dans le détail du contenu de, quel qu soit, I believe it was the contents je crois of confessions que extracted at S21, obtenu à S21, which persuaded qui the upper leadership that there was a conspiracy against them a convaincu et les supérieurs hiérarchiques qu'il y avait conspiration contre eux de la part de plusieurs responsables militaires. I understand. Question. You, you said that you said yesterday uh, that about hier, the purge if in the Ministry of Economy one can say that could have been caused by the paranoia of the Standing Committee and one can say that 
it was caused by the, and again, I, I apologize, I do not have any transcript, Donc, but I think, just tell me if I'm misquoting you, you said si that one can say that to the system of systematically looking and identifying for enemies devised by the accused, and you said that you believe it was both. Now, would you accept the proposition that precisely this system of looking and identifying for enemies may have fed or strengthened the paranoia of the standing committee. Would you accept that proposition? Yes, Council. It's a good example of what systems analysts call a positive feedback loop. De ce que les analystes appellent the system un système de feedback en boucle. Le système s'alimente lui-même et génère ce genre de phénomène avec une énergie de plus en plus grande. I have one question about another policy of the CPK. Are you aware of any deliberate policy of starving prisoners? Yes, Council. And what can you say about this policy? Based on my various research into these questions, I would say that starvation of prisoners in security offices appear to be a very widespread, in fact, nearly universal policy throughout democratic Kampuchea, and that indeed in some instances, it appeared to be used as a low-impact method of execution. Comme méthode d'exécution. And what, if anything, can you say about the implementation of that policy at S21? Cette politique à S21. Based on various forms of testimony and evidence that I have seen, I would say that the diet provided to prisoners at S21 were starvation rations that would eventually cause the death of any prisoner subjected to them. And am I, am I correct to understand that that was a, an implementation of that policy? La mise en œuvre de la politique du PCK. It appears to réponse. be council. Oui, cela semble bien être le cas. Thank you. Maître Werner, merci. I have one question about, it was not clear to me, about que je pas très bien compris, the relationship between secretaries of zone and sectors zone et de secteurs, on, on one hand part, and representative of general staff. You said on Monday, it's in the draft transcript, page 8586, page 86, and I'm quoting you, each zone committee, committee commander zone division and regiment-sized military unit, which were commanded and managed by a general staff based in each zone. Similarly, sector committees commanded armed units, often of regiment size, which were also generally managed by a general staff. And I was just wondering, because it was not clear to me, at the zone and sector levels, who, who had more power between the zone or sector secretary and the representative of the general staff, who, if I understand things correctly, was in charge of the armed force in that zone or sector. Do you understand my question? Est-ce que vous comprenez ma question? Yes, counsel. Réponse oui. I believe I do understand your question. Je crois avoir compris votre question. And it's a very interesting question. C'est une question très intéressante. Because problems of civil military relations and civilian control 
of military forces is a general problem throughout all governments of the world, and indeed, often particularly so, in political systems that are based on extreme degrees of coercion. Sur un degré de coercition extrême. In general, a fundamental principle générale, il un of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, au PCK, enunciated in a variety of their foundational documents, dans plusieurs documents such as the du parti, CPK statutes, les statuts du parti, decisions of the Standing Committee, les décisions du comité permanent, and so forth, etc., state very clearly comme quoi, that it is the party which is to command military forces. Qui doit les forces militaires. In most instances, Dans la plupart des cas, this appears to have been the way it worked at the zone que echelon que ainsi que ce soit and at the sector echelon. The power of a military commander Mais le who is headstrong and confident qui est sûr de lui is something that têtu, all political leaders chose que must consider very carefully. En de façon très Thank you. On, on Monday, Question. and Merci. it Lundi, appears in the draft transcript, 18 of May, page 71, you said this, over the course of the regime, I believe Sun Sen was eventually promoted to full membership in the standing committee, while Kong Sopal remained an alternate member until his eventual arrest and execution at S21. Could you tell us when do you think Sun Sen became a full member of the Standing Committee? Sun Sen sera devenu membre titulaire du comité permanent. I believe. Réponse. Sun Sen became a full Je member crois que Sun Sen est of the Standing titulaire Committee du comité permanent. no later than November 1978, en novembre 1978 and possibly somewhat earlier. Et peut-être euh, plus tôt. Now, the accused, Question. both in front of the instructing judge, a dit au and the reference for my learned friend is, he said that on the 5th of September 2007, page 6, D-16, but he said it as well in court on the 30th of April in the draft transcript, page 70 to 75, the accused said that, according to him, lui, Sun Sen was number Sun seven Sen of the regime. Du regime. Do you agree with, with that proposal? Êtes-vous d'accord avec cette affirmation? I mean that statement, sorry. Over the course Réponse. of the regime, au fil du temps, the ranking of the top members evolved constantly. As they jockeyed for power among themselves, and as the purges proceeded into the very upper ranks of the revolution, so these rankings did change over time. But it's entirely plausible that at one point Sun Sen did have the formal rank of number seven. But I'm interested in. in actual um, power. I think you um, explained very well to George Cartwright, and you went into a great length to explain that he was very powerful because he was at the same time in the government, deputy prime minister in the army, chief of staff in the party, alternate member or member of the standing committee. So would it be correct that to say that in, not formally in, in a formal structure, but de facto in terms of actual power, would it be correct that he was more powerful than other full members of the standing committee like Rao's Nim, Sao Pim, or even Von Vett. Would you agree with that? That's a very difficult question, Council. 
power is an intangible thing. Le pouvoir est quelque chose d'intangible and difficult to measure. Et de difficile à mesurer. Power can consist simply in one's persuasiveness. Le pouvoir peut résider dans le pouvoir de persuasion d'une personne ou dans sa capacité d'influer sur les processus décisionnels de groupe. Certainly, in terms of his ability to en tout cas pour ce qui de sa capacité forces, de commander les forces militaires, Sun Sen, Sen was more powerful était plus puissant than Von Vett que Von Vett or Ying Sari. ou que Yang Sari. However, Mais, how much influence quelle était l'influence que Sun Sen in the policy a exercé sur l'élaboration de la Standing Committee et might be another matter. Du comité permanent, ce peut être une Thank autre you. question. Could you just confirm because Merci. you went with George Cartwright in this, this um, your chart of the Standing Vous Committee in your report and you explained the E and the D and the S, what that meant. Just to be clear on the record, for Ross Nim, you said he was uh, executed, but it's, I didn't find anywhere in the record, it's not clear how, it was, how he was executed. Is that correct that he was? de savoir comment il a été exécuté. Est-ce que Roslim a été exécuté à tout le Question, oui, c'est exact. Yeah, no, I know the time. I still have um, some questions, not too many, but some questions. Do you want me to, um, pas très nombreuses, mais j'ai encore quelques questions. Carry on, or do you want to, to take a break? que je poursuive ou souhaitez-vous faire la pause maintenant? Monsieur le Président, si je peux me permettre. Est-ce qu'il est envisagé de laisser la parole à la Défense à un moment Je suis quand même un peu inquiet. Mon confrère, Maître Werner, avait annoncé hier 20 minutes de questions. Même en retranchant le quart d'heure qu'on a consacré à l'observation des coprocureurs, il y a maintenant une heure que Maître Werner pose des questions. Je sais que... Maître Alex Beck doit nous quitter ce soir. Je souhaiterais pouvoir poser mes questions à M. Greg Exesson avant le départ de M. Bates et avant mon propre départ. Et j'aimerais que peut-être on se donne quelques limitations dans cette chambre quand on regarde le temps qui est réservé à la Chambre, au procureur, puis aux partis civils, par rapport au temps qui est consacré à la défense. Alors j'aimerais que M. Werner soit invité à concentrer ces questions pour laisser du temps à la défense. Merci, M. le Président. Maître Werner, je le ferai volontiers. And apparent, apparently, you, you seem, George Lavern seems to agree that I committed yesterday. If I did, then si I didn't intend to do so. I was just trying to express the fact that um, I would be more than 20 minutes or half an hour. I knew I would be more. So if I, if I did so, then it was by mistake. And I apologize for that. Par erreur que j'ai donné cette indication hier et je m'en excuse. Hello, the president. Le président. Now because it's time to change the DVD of the recording, so the chamber is adjourned for 20 minutes until 5 past 11. When we resume our proceedings, court officers. Can you assist the expert with Ici, some refreshment? Uh, accompagner l'expert à la salle d'attente.